Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The official trailer for Star Wars Visions was just released and holy crap does it look awesome as hell. If you're a fan of anime like me, I imagine you're just as excited about Visions as I am and this trailer has me even more pumped for this series now. So let's dive into some of my thoughts and takeaways on the trailer for Star Wars Visions. As a reminder, Star Wars Visions is an upcoming animated anthology series which will include 9 animated inspired original short films from various Japanese animation studios that present a different cultural perspective to Star Wars. The series is scheduled to premiere on Disney Plus next month on September 22nd, which can't come soon enough. The thing I was most excited about after watching the trailer was seeing a bunch of red-bladed lightsabers. Although Visions won't be considered canon, I love learning about the Sith and getting stories that involve them, so seeing all of those red lightsabers was dope as hell. Look how freaking cool this looks. Her middle lightsaber on her right side looks kinda like like Darth Malgus's lightsaber, and even if it's not supposed to be his saber or a nod to it, I'm all about it. Give me the Sith and Dark Side users all day long. The short film The Duel focuses on the Jedi and Sith, and the novel Ronin, a Visions novel by Emma Miko Kandon, ties directly into the world of The Duel, so I'm super excited to see some anime Sith crossing paths with Jedi and fighting one another. And it looks like there's going to be multiple short films that will feature the Sith and the Jedi going toe to toe, and that's what I'm talking about about. I've been clamoring for a Star Wars anime that showcases the Sith and Jedi for a long time and I'm so damn pumped we'll be getting that in Visions. What were you most excited to see in the Star Wars Vision trailer? Let us know down in the comments. Another thing that I thought was great about the trailer is that the assorted animation styles look so freaking cool. With various Japanese animation studios bringing their unique perspectives to the Star Wars galaxy, it makes sense that each of these stories will have their own feel, aesthetic, and style to them and I totally got that sense in the trailer. The the visuals we got in this trailer were really great, and if that's an indication of what we'll get with Visions, sign me the hell up. I'm very excited to see the stories and characters that each studio will bring to life in Visions, and this trailer heightened my excitement even more. Now although many of the characters and locations in the trailer are unfamiliar, we did get to see the Grand Arena in Mos Espa on Tatooine, which is home to the Bunta Eve classic we saw Anakin race in during The Phantom Menace, as well as our homeboy Boba Fett and his ship Slave One. Tamira Morrison will be voiced Voicing Boba Fett, of course, but Visions will also have a pretty stellar list of some very familiar actors lending their voices to the series, such as Lucy Liu, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Allison Brie, Karen Fukuhara, Henry Golding, David Harbour, and George Takai. With the series being released a little more than a month from now on September 22nd, this trailer has me looking forward to Visions, these stories, and these characters even more. I think I'm most excited to see the short film The Duel, especially since it ties in with the Ronin novel, as well as The Twins, which director Hiroyoku Imaishi described as a story about twins of the dark side. I'm super excited to see Star Wars stories told through an anime lens and can't wait to see some anime Jedi and anime Sith duking it out. But what's your thoughts on Star Wars Visions? And which short film are you most excited for? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.